C.J. Stroud asleep when Stephon Diggs becomes a member of the Houston Texans. He had to be thrilled with that. I mean, look, this is a team in Texas that is truly going all in. One is saying that it's going all in but not doing anything. The other one is saying nothing and just doing what is necessary. First team ever, as we've mentioned before, but it bears repeating, to acquire in the same offseason a 1,000-yard rusher, a 1,000-yard receiver, and a guy who had 10 or more sacks. First time that's ever happened that those three join a team at the same time. And this is a Texans team that got to the final eight that gave the Ravens everything they could handle for a half. It wasn't until the third quarter, that drive, and after Lamar Jackson used some bad words, as he said in the locker room, that the Ravens pulled away in that game. So the Texans are in great position to compete with the best of the best in the AFC, and they've added more. And Stephon Diggs now joining C.J. Stroud makes for a team that I'm very interested to see what they can do this year. I I mean, expectations were kind of high with the way the year ended last year. I mean, we looked at them and went, well, I mean, playoff team, you know, C.J. Stroud, wow, they're going to be good for a long time. But then when you talk about the additions, especially – Daniil Hunter and Stefan Diggs, you go from, hey, winner of the AFC South playoff type of team to like, no, 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 wait, 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 no, 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 they're, they're going for the Super Bowl. This is, they, they've, they've injected themselves into Super Bowl contender. They've gone to a different stratosphere over the last month of how we viewed them as a football team. You couple that quarterback with the guys you just talked about, also a very good free agency and a b- good base meat and potatoes of the team already. Yeah, damn. I mean, the Texans definitely got very, very high expectations from everybody now and especially with that guy at quarterback and the powers that be in the national football league have to love this because it shows that any team can go from being the most dysfunctional in all of the league which the texans were not that long ago under the jack easterby reign in houston he's gone D'Amico ryan's is in cj stroud ends up being great and here they are we're in in the the era to compete for a potential Super Bowl victory. Here's D'Amico Ryan's head coach of the Houston Texans on how they go from being the Hunters to being clearly in 2024 the Hunt Head. I appreciate the question, but we're always hunting. (laughs) <laughs> that doesn't change for us. We're always hunting expectations on the outside, whatever that may be. It really doesn't change who we are, right? It doesn't, the expectations from the outside don't permeate inside our building. And now we have to change what we're doing just because of outside expectations. It really doesn't matter. We don't care about expectations. Talk doesn't win games. We have to go out and play good football when that time comes. That's right. That's what you expect them to say. But the reality is, Chris, the expectations have changed. And it's going to be for him to process that, to get his players to not get a big head, to not rest on their laurels from last year, to not think any of it transfers. Remember, Bill Belichick always said none of it that we did before matters. Nothing ever matters. You're back to zero and zero with everyone else, and you're now a measuring stick. You're now a team that is going to get circled on the schedule and – They're not going to get into the rhythm that every coach would love to have. 1 o'clock Eastern, 1 o'clock Eastern, 1 o'clock Eastern. No, they're going to be all over the place. Monday night, Thursday night, Sunday night, Saturdays, maybe Thanksgiving. I still want Texans at Cowboys in the 4.30 p.m. Eastern game on Thanksgiving. They are going to be a hot commodity this year. That's part of the price you pay for being a great team. So... This is going to be even more of a challenge, different, but even more of a challenge for D'Amico Ryans to get these guys pointed in the right direction because uh, there is going to be some of that trickle in that, hey, we're pretty good, and they're going to set themselves up for some humble pie early if they don't come out and deliver. I think they will, but it's on Ryans to get them ready to do it. Yeah, it it is. Now, you know, he's he's got that in him, right? It's, It's that, you know, 49ers way. Right, that we've seen there. It's run through brick walls, intensity, hustle, all of that, right? You know, a little bit of the all gas, no breaks type of mantra from Sala. I have no doubt that D'Amico Ryans can keep that type of energy with the Houston Texans going. Yeah, they're going to be a little more hunted or whatever else. Certainly, we know the expectations. You mentioned it right. 
They're going to be more on national TV. The quarterback's a superstar, right? He's along. We're in this era of like young quarterbacks who totally change around how we look at a or certain organization. I mean, it, it's really pretty special what some of these guys are doing right now and overcoming dysfunction or changing the way we look at it. But here's where I think they won't have a problem. The, the reason they don't have a problem is a little bit because the conference they're in is the first thing. And they're going to look at it and go, hey, yeah, we're good. We're good. There's no doubt. But, I mean, you know, to your point, what you said, we got our butts whooped in the third and fourth quarter against the Baltimore Ravens. Are we that good? Right? The Chiefs went to Baltimore and whooped Baltimore. Right? So we got some work to do here. And Joe Burrow is going to be back healthy next year with the Cincinnati Bengals. We better be on our game. Right? So that, to me, will be the thing they can look at at least to go, hey, it's the AFC. It ain't easy. The Dolphins are still there. Josh Allen's still there. We got work to do. And hopefully they can keep that intensity and drive that they need there. And, and really, I, I don't doubt they can because uh, I just know that kind of energy that D'Amico Bryan brings on a day-to-day -day basis. Well, and look, it's easy for D'Amico Ryans to say we're continuing to be the Hunters because they have the Ravens, the Bills, the Dolphins, the Lions, in addition to their usual in-division opponents. They've got the Cowboys, the Packers, the Vikings, the Chiefs. They go to Kansas City. So they've got plenty of opportunities to show that that they can play with a better team. They won't be favored in every game this year. There's going to be plenty of games when they're the underdog, so that plays into this, this idea that they still have work to do to be truly regarded as a team that has arrived, but they've done a lot of work to be regarded as a team that has arrived. Hi, it's Mike Florio. Thanks for watching PFT on YouTube. Hit subscribe for the latest news and analysis from Pro Football Talk.